Hello everybody, it's Chief Corn again with the Southport Police Department. Just wanted to take time out of the day to read a book to you again. Uh, with all the uncertainties right now that are going on, a lot of people are scared. Again, young and old, we're getting a lot of questions about what to do and people are being worried. So I found a book, actually my wife picked this book out. It's called The Invisible String. And we used to read this to our daughter when she was very young. Uh, the book is by Patricia Crass and it's illustrated by Mr. Stevenson. So again, it's called The Invisible String and it's about being scared. So I just wanted to take time today and read the book to you. It's a good little book. Again, The Invisible String. Lizza and Jeremy, the twins, were asleep one calm night. Suddenly it began to rain very hard. Thunder rumbled and lightning until it got so loud that it woke them up. Mommy, mommy, they cried out as they ran to her. And this is, this is little Jeremy and Lizza. And they're running to their mother because we all get scared sometimes with thunderstorms. I still do sometimes and I'm uh, in my adult uh, life at this point. But mom says, don't worry you two, it's just the storm making all that noise. Go back to bed. We want to stay close to you, said Jeremy. We're scared. Mom said, you know you're always together with me no matter what. But how can we be stronger together when you're out here and we're in the bed, they asked. Mom held something right in front of them and said, this is how. Rubbing their sleepy eyes, the twins came closer to see what mom was holding. I was about your age when my mama told me about the invisible string. And there's mom with the two at the, at the couch talking about this invisible string. I don't see a string, said Jeremy. You don't need to see the invisible string. People who love each other are always connected by a very strong, special string made of love. But if you can't see it, how do you know it's there, said Lizza. Even though you can't see it with your eyes, you can feel it in your heart and know that you are always connected to everyone you love. When you're at school and you miss me, your love travels all the way down to my heart. And when you tug it right back, we feel it in our hearts. Does Jasper the cat have an invisible string, Lizza asked. Sure he does, said Mom. And best friends like me and Lucy, asked Lizza. Do we have invisible strings too? How far can the string reach? Anywhere and everywhere, Mom said. Would it reach me if I was in a submarine as a captain, said Jeremy, deep in the sea? Yes, Mama answered, even there. Or a mountain climber on the top of a mountain, even there. What about a ballerina dancer in France? Even there, Mom says. A jungle explorer? Even there. How about as an astronaut way out in outer space? Yes, even there, Mom says. Then Jeremy quietly asks, Can my string reach all the way to heaven to Uncle Brian? Yes, it can. Even there, says Mom. Does the string go away when you're mad at us? Never, Mom said. Love is stronger than anger. And as long as we love in our hearts, the string will always be there. Even when you get older and can't agree about things, like the movies we see and who gets to ride in the front seat, or what time we go to bed. Oh, that's right. You two should be in bed, Mom says. And with that, they all laughed as Mom chased the twins down the hall back to their beds. Within a few minutes, they were hard asleep, even though the storm was still making the same loud noises outside. As they slept, they started dreaming of all the invisible strings that they have, and all the strings their friends have, and their friends have, and their friends have, until everyone in the world was connected by an invisible string. And from their deep sleep inside, they now could clearly see all of their friends. No one is ever alone. The end. So again, this is a good illustration about when we're scared and the invisible string that mom talks about is, is very real to all of us. So just know in uncertain times that, you know, if you're scared or worried, you can talk to mom, dad, grown-ups, friends, um, police officers, teachers, anyone, and they will help you out. So I hope this book has been helpful today. And again, thank you for taking time and listening. And if you need anything, just let us know. Thank you.